All right, all right, LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. You know the coach, I'm covering the rite of passage because I told y'all I would be covering the rite of passage, the AKA fight, rite of passage, because my girl, Jasmine Flush Crawford. Jasmine Flush Crawford is fighting. So there are a couple of other uh, amateur women on the card who, this fight was entertaining. You got Haley Hobb versus Chastity McMillan. I enjoyed this fight thoroughly. Now, you know, guys, with an amateur fight, with women, the skill set not going to be there. They're learning, okay? These women, they're technically, they're just learning. They're trying to figure everything out. So I knew that I wasn't going to get a lot of skill, but this was going to be who had the most dog in them. Who was actually willing to just let that dog out? And it was a good fight. In the first round, Haley Hobb did a good job of establishing a jab. Her jab is nice. Hobb got a real nice, crisp, and it's a sharp jab. But then... You know, McMillan took a couple of hits, and McMillan just turned into, I don't know, a freak of nature. She just started mauling the hell out of Haley Hobb. She got in Haley Hobb's chest. She started throwing this overhand right. Her McMillan's overhand right was money. The rest of her punches, they were just like these looping wild punches. And, you know, when Hobb threw that jab, she was actually catching Chastity McMillan while she was throwing those looping punches. And I'm like, okay, if Hobb keeps throwing that jab, McMillan is going to have to make an adjustment. But McMillan... She closed that distance so fast. She smothered the offense of Haley Hobbs. Smothered the offense completely. So Hobbs was constantly trying to get back. She was trying to separate from Chastity McMillan. She was trying to, but she couldn't do it because McMillan, you know, for an amateur, for an amateur girl with two fights, and this being her second fight, she did a good job of cutting off the octagon so Haley Hobbs had no escape routes. I was impressed by that uh, part with Chastity McMillan. And then, you know, it was landing. The funny thing is, Chastity McMillan, her style, it, it's not its not pretty, but it was landing. And, you know, I knew this was what I was going to get with an amateur fight. She's going to learn, okay? McMillan is going to get better. She's going to get loads better. The, the more she fights, the more she trains, she's going to get better, okay? And I got to reiterate that. Haley Hobb, they're going to get better, okay? Both of these girls, they have nothing to hang their head on. Neither one, okay? The coach is going to show them love and big time love. Um... McMillan had some very, very good takedowns. So McMillan would close the distance. Haley Hobb would try to get a couple of jabs off. And then McMillan would quickly, you know, just run. I mean, she would walk through the jab, grab Haley Hobb, and just take her to the ground. I was impressed with some of Chastity McMillan's takedowns. They were pretty impressive. McMillan just didn't know what to do with the takedowns once she had her down. And uh, you can kind of tell she was having difficulty passing guard. You know, she was having... She was really, really having that kind of difficulty trying to establish a full amount. So, you know, she was just kind of throwing these wild punches. Some of them were connecting. Some of them, you know, they were just hitting Haley Hobb on the arm. And uh, Haley Hobb was actually able to just not take any damage from that position. And, um, you know, and that's something that McMillan, she's going to, you know, she's going to actually get better as time progresses on how to establish a full amount, maybe how to pass guard appropriately, that kind of thing. But McMillan didn't one takedown. They would just, McMillan grabbed Chastity. I'm sorry, McMillan, Chastity McMillan grabbed Haley Hobb by the head and she just slung her down to the ground like they was in a street fight. And, uh, you know, she got on top. Chastity had about what? She had about three or four takedowns. And these were very, very good takedowns. You know, I was like, man, McMillan really, when she really get her skill set up to par, Chastity McMillan is going to be a force to reckon with. You know, in about three years, the UFC... They're going to have to get an atom weight division. They're going to have to. Uh, because girls like McMillan, girls like Haley Hobb, they're going to get better. They're going to get much better. And that division, these girls, they're entertaining, man. This was the best fight. I'm watching all the fights now. This fight right here was the most entertaining fight because they're bringing it. These girls, they're not fighting with skill set. They're fighting with heart. They're fighting with a lot of heart, man. And that's the difference between what these women are doing and what some of these men are doing you know it, it's just crazy but um you know nonetheless it was a good fight round three round three it was a telling round Haley Hobb actually got a full amount on Chastity McMillan she got it she had it and then Haley Hobb just stood up and I'm like what 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 the hell is she doing I mean she had a chance she was landing some very good shots on Chastity McMillan and she possibly could have got the finish but she stood up like, she wanted to stand with Chastity McMillan, and I, I didn't understand the logic because she wasn't winning the stand-up battle with McMillan. But I said, this is a break. This is Haley Hobbs. I really want to see what she do with this mount. 
she had the mount it was secure but she just she stood up she stood up and i'm like whoa this was the one chance she had to really finish the fight but um you know nonetheless man this fight was good these are two very very good amateurs They're, guys these, these two they're gonna get better i really like it i'm gonna reach out to both of their teams and i'm, I'm gonna see because i don't think it i don't think it'd be a problem getting these guys these two to interview you know i'm talking about both of them to interview because i like talking to just new fighters like this i like these fighters because they, they got so much energy so much vigor you know and they just they got this mentality that they can conquer the world that's why i like interviewing these type fighters you know people you don't even know about and even if this video gets 100 views guess what i'm happy because these two they deserve it they fought well now it was the moment of truth the decision um the judges man could grieve i didn't give Haley hobb around i didn't i thought um i thought the chassis mcmillan won all all the rounds it's just that she was out striking Haley hobb Haley hobb had her moments but nah it was too much chassis to mcmillan to me it was anyway and the judges actually one of the judges said that Haley hobb won the fight I, I don't know what the hell that judge was looking at uh i don't know he probably pissed in his eye I, who knows okay but uh, I, I gave it three to zero. But you know, Chastity McMillan won the fight. Uh, it was a split decision win, but she still won the fight nonetheless. Shout out to Chastity McMillan. Shout out to Haley Hobb for a very, very good, entertaining fight. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris. Number one, what are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.